And if all goes well, we should be live. Hey, it worked. I think it did. Excellent, excellent. So today, we are going to check out the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now, uh, full disclosure, I have never played Mass Effect. I have known about it. I've watched people stream this little tidbits of it. Not, nothing to even really know about what was going on. Um, just like random things. And it wasn't really ever on my radar. Now, the first one is actually fairly old. I think it was something like 2007. Um, now, all three of the main games, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, just released on a remastered edition. So for 50 bucks or 60 bucks, 59 something, you get three games, 40 DLCs, all remastered. So I thought I had to at least check it out. So I'm not committing yet to a full playthrough, but we'll see what we think of it, right? And uh, see if it's something that we want to continue on. So the gist I have about it, not having played it, is that it has a really good story. It's a first-class RPG. The combat is pretty jank. <laughs> <laughs> and the graphics in the first one, even though they're remastered, um, still have something to be desired. But we're going to have to start with Mass Effect 1 today to uh, just check it out, because we're going to need to get the whole story. Oh, Wicked Turtle. Hope you have fun with it. I'm enjoying playing through them again. Excellent. Yeah, I have never, never played them before at all. So this is going to be a first time for me. So we're going to have to start with Mass Effect 1, because basically in this playthrough, uh, we are going for the story, um, you know, because it's not going to be like the highest caliber combat or whatever. Apparently the RPG is pretty good, though, and it's considered to be bio some of Bioware's best work. And back when like RPGs were good and decisions had consequence and there was less hand-holding around that, and you could be evil or good or whatever you wanted to be. So they put a lot of work into it that way. So we're going to check out the story as if we are immersing ourselves in a new sci-fi TV series, right? And to check it out, see what it has to offer. If it's good and you guys like it, uh, we can do a full series of it and keep playing through it. You know, I mean, we could do it between other games as we have time. Um, but yeah, we're going to check out Mass Effect 1 today, so be aware that it's going to be the jankiest of the three. And from what I've heard in non-spoiler reviews, people generally love 2 the best. So that will be the one after this, obviously. And then 3 supposedly is like, okay. Um, but 2 is supposed to be the masterwork, so we got to get through 1 at least to get to 2, because I think it would be spoilery to jump into 2. I don't know if it's standalone or not. But we want the full story, we want the context, we want to understand what's going on. I did a little poll on my channel, uh, my community tab, to see uh, if people were even interested in it, what their experience had, with it have been. And so 18% of the folks responding said yes, they had played it, uh, one or more of them, and had loved it. 9% uh, said they played it but disliked it. And 64% of the people responding, the highest percentage, said they never played it, but are curious. And then uh, another 9% said they'd never played it and they're not interested. <laughs> so we had 18% negative, basically, and uh, like 82% positive for checking it out. So, yeah, we're going to check it out and we'll see if we want to play some more. So let's go ahead and get this started. Thank you for joining me for this in my first experience of Mass Effect. So I did only went as far before as actually starting the game to make sure it will start. Sir Garwin, what is going on? All right, we have connected to Origin. Turn the, uh, hopefully it's gonna start here, yep. Here we go. 
Yeah, so this is owned by EA at this point, but uh, it was developed by BioWare. So here we go. Press any key. Oh, I gotta get my keyboard back here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, we start with a simple menu of Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2, or Mass Effect 3. Hey, Mary, how you doing? Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Sir Garwin, Wicked Turtle, and anybody else out there? So, yeah, thank you for joining. <laughs> so we could jump into any one of these right now. Apparently, one of the changes they've made is they all share the same character creator. So we're going to have to make a character, whichever one we jump into. But that character can be shared between them. So let's go ahead and start with Mass Effect 1, because uh, that seems the logical place to start, right? So I checked out these options here. There's nothing important here yet, so we're going to go ahead and close that up. And start got a bunch of nice sound effects oh you were sick with a cold better now you know one of the the upsides of the whole lockdown and masks uh wearing and everything is i haven't caught a cold for 13 months 14 months longer than that <laughs> i haven't had the opportunity Ooh, okay press any key go away steam Go away, NVIDIA. GeForce. Let's get into here. 120 FPS. I do have my FPS counter on there. It looks a little big. We might need to turn that off at some point. Um, but let's go ahead. And I guess we're going to go ahead and start start new career, huh? Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay. So we get to pick John Shepard or Jane Shepard or a new ID. Um, Apparently, Jane has the better voice actor. It was done by Jennifer Hale. And I forget who did the male one, but apparently he's a lot more monotone. And she does a much more colorful job of it. So, uh, and it's Jen and my propensity to, to uh, play the female character. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and do Jane Shepard. Please log in to access your profile. Sir Garwin, you're playing the PS3 version of Mass Effect at the moment. <laughs> oh, wow, you're playing the original. Okay, so you're not playing the remastered, even. Take my son to work and pick him up. Wear my mask when I'm out. Yeah, well, I'm sorry you got a cold, but I'm glad that you're getting over it. Um, we can give her a new first name. I'm not particularly fond of uh, Jane as a new first name, so... Uh, what should we give her? Oh my god, we already got choices. <laughs> this is going to take forever. <laughs> right now, she's got the default look. But um, does anybody have a uh, a recommendation for a first name? Call her uh, Monkeyna. <laughs> Monkey Shepherd. Um, gosh, I hadn't even considered I had to come up with a name. Uh... We could do it something hard like uh, uh, Aracaria. Jade. Jade is pretty nice. I like that. Jade Shepherd. That's much nicer than Jane. All right, we could go with that. Does that mean we need to make her hair green? <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I could work with Jade Shepherd. Not yet. Wait until you get the PS5. I am trying to get a PS5, but I'm not allowed to yet. <laughs> so, I'm sure you're in the same situation. Profile reconstruction complete. All right, she's Earthborn Soul Survivor is her reputation class soldier. Um, oh, I guess this way we don't get to uh, choose anything. Let's see. Oh, so we don't get to change any settings this way. Um, let's go back actually. Please log in to access your profile. And let's let's do it from here. So we'll do a custom female. Please log in to we'll access keep it at your Jade. profile. 
If and when you can afford it. Warning. Oh, you don't think the name Data is ever referenced? Detected. Okay. Please reconstruct profile. Affording is part of it, Sir Garwin, but um, for me, it's like, even if you have the money, you can't buy it. It's just available, like, for a few minutes every week or two, seems like, according to the now in stock thing I have. So, uh, we can make her Earthborn. I guess that was canon, right? Canon was she was Earthborn, soul survivor, soldier. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises. I like that. Megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep it keep it there. Confirm psychological profile. And then uh, Soul Survivor also is canon, so we can go ahead and keep that. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone. You alone are left to tell the tale. Probably have some survival guilt about that too. So, but uh, let's go ahead and choose that. Ruthless. So yeah, there's a lot of story building in here is what I know about it. So apparently all these choices here, minus the name, have impact. But we'll go ahead and just keep it on canon. Confirm military specialization. Okay, now we can choose. So I did watch a Fextra Life thing on choosing your class, and I still am not sure. Uh, this is adept at guns. This is adept at tech. Um, biotic specialist there's some kind of like sci-fi thing with the mass effect um, and this gives you powers now if you choose either tech or adept the problem is you're going to be weak you can only wear light armor you're not going to be able to take a hit and um, also they've changed it apparently that you used to only be able to use certain guns with certain classes now any class can use any gun but they won't necessarily be extra proficient at it Correct. Do manual to pick class and stuff. Yeah. So, um, I want one that's like the best combination of the above. So, infiltrators combine combat and tech. Sentinels combine biotic and tech. Vanguard are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons. Take down opponents that are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. So, Vanguard was the one I was considering. Um, you're kind of in between jobs to, to your COPD trying to find a job I can do at home well, I wish you the best of luck with that Sir Garwin, very much it's definitely not something I should spend money on but it's something I could get if it was available right now and uh, so even if you had the money it's still very hard to buy them uh, just because of the worldwide chip shortages that are going on right now uh, but apparently they've sold more than they did at launch of the other PlayStations, but the, still it's hard to get, I guess because of the massive demand. Um, so you guys can advise me on what I should do. Um, I was thinking Vanguard would be pretty cool because I could be combat and biotics. I can go up to medium armor. Can't wear heavy armor. It'd have to be a soldier. But what I'm thinking is a soldier, you, have to, you only got guns, and apparently combat in here is not the best. Um, it's kind of jank with the whole kind of uh, cover system that doesn't always cooperate. We'll still have to use that anyway, but I was thinking we could mix it up with something interesting. Um, but we definitely want to be able to use a gun. This seems more like a support character. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic attacks. Um, yeah, let's try like, let's try Vanguard. Uh, seems the most interesting. Could it be like magic and guns, sort of, or uh, you know, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic kind of magic. So, uh, yeah, if I've made Confirm a terrible mistake, please let me know. And we could go with the. Uh, do you know if that can be played on the PS4 Pro? I assume we can. I don't know. Um, actually, let me look up over here on Steam. 
where it is available. It might might just be PC now. Uh, here, let's look it up. Let's Google it. Uh, mass. Oops, I gotta change this over here. Mass Effect Legendary Edition platforms, platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Microsoft Windows. So yes, it can be played on the PS4, apparently. And it's, you know, it's an old game, so it better be able to. Yeah, well, yep. Okay. Let's go back here. Back here, get my keyboard back. Vanguard is fun. The combat does feel a little bit better than you remember. Okay. Cool. Um, I'm tempted just to keep this appearance. She looks all right. She looks pretty good. Uh, let's just look back in here. And uh, cycle the presets. Yow. <laughs> None of those look that great, honestly. Um, you know what? We could get into all of that, but I'd say, uh, let's go back. Confirm facial identification. And, uh, let's see, let's Profile confirm that. Complete. Confirm I want to, I want to go back in here. Where do I get back to the, uh, can I just get the default one in here? I just want to play with little things like scars and stuff. Uh, it doesn't look like I can do that. So let's just go back. Confirm facial identification. And uh, I guess we'll just keep her Profile as default. Because that looks a lot better than presets. And I could get deep into it. But uh, whatever. It doesn't seem like very practical hair. But uh, we'll keep her canon. And move on rather than getting too into it. Once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be able, unable to, uh, can't get default in custom. Oh, okay. So it's either default or something totally new. All right, so we'll keep it like that then. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. I heard in here you can make it hard and um, it's not that bad. Well, we'll keep it normal for now. Yeah, I wanted to get default, but then change it slightly, but I guess I don't get to do that. So yeah, we'll turn, keep off the uh, auto level up, so we'll have to do that custom. We'll just keep it at normal right now, because apparently the combat's it's not all that, so we won't get too involved in that. Uh, level scaling. I think this is in legendary mode. It lets you go to full, like, level 50 or whatever, but before in Mass Effect 1, you couldn't go that high, so this is like the DLC. Uh, leveling, so we'll keep that. And squad power usage. Defensive, all. Uh, none. I guess this is the use of their power? I don't know. Let's put all. <laughs> Subtitles. Uh, we'll turn them on for you guys. And then autosave, enable tutorials. Okay. Accept. And then, well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. So we got Ambassador Udina and Captain Anderson. In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling uh, travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. Something about human history. And I guess that, that uh, effect is, is mass effect. 
that allows the traveling of space and time. Whee! The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. So yeah, this is Mass Effect 1. It's remastered, but it is going to have the worst graphics of Arcturus. all of them. Calculating transit mass and destination. But they still looking. They're looking pretty all right. This is looking cool. All stations secure for transit. Looks better than a medium budget sci-fi film. It's pushing people out of the way. There she is. Forward is green. Approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Ooh, he looks creepy. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. So that guy, the, the, the weird guy is a, a they specter. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. All right, so we already have dialogue choices here. You can say, I agree. You're overreacting. Cut the chatter. So I think we're the commander in charge. Um, let's go ahead and start firm, I guess. But yeah, we're going to have many choices to make along the way. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander <laughs> Shepard to meet me in the comm room for Faux a pas. You get that, Commander? Yeah, I haven't had a chance to go into the settings at all yet, Sir Garwin. It didn't let me do it here yet, but I, I will turn... We'll adjust the, the settings in just a second. I'm on my way. <laughs> Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. All right, so now we can go in here and check everything out. So, what's Codex? <laughs> personal history summary. Okay, it's got our whole personal history. And... Humanity and the Systems Alliance. Wow, we could really take the deep dive here. Uh, let's look at our profile real quick. You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. A child of the streets, you learn to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of... We read most of that already. Yeah, so we joined the Alliance to get out of that. You volunteered for an expedition to Akuz, a lush world on the outskirts of the Alliance space that had suddenly dropped out of contact. Arriving on the surface, your patrol found the settlement intact, but no survivors. At nightfall, the Thresher Maws struck. Mindless abominations of teeth and tentacles that rose up from beneath the earth. Constant gunfire couldn't drown out the shrieks of your fellow soldiers as they were dragged down to a gruesome death. Fifty marines died on a coups. You were the only one to make it back to the landing zone alive. A monument on the planet commemorates the massacre, a grim reminder of the price humanity must pay as they spread through the stars. Give me one second, guys.
Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm back. I had muted just to uh, take care of a couple things, and uh, we're back. What's up, Raleigh? Peter Dragon, what's going on? So we just started uh, Mass Effect 1 of this whole uh, remaster thing. We're mainly taking this as a story deep dive so far. We'll see if we want to keep playing it on stream or not. But yeah, just really checking out like we're diving, immersing ourselves into some like sci-fi TV series, right? And we're one of the characters. So we just read about um, the character, Shepard, and uh, basically she had a rough life on Earth, joined the military in order to get away from it, and then was the sole survivor of this massacre on this lush planet. And then here's a timeline about humanity and the Systems Alliance. So I don't know if we can read all this right now, um, but I'll, I'll let's go ahead and slowly scroll through it. So if folks are watching uh, the VOD later, they can pause and check this all out. Because um, there's a lot of it. Let me see, we'll read this one. Roughly 30% of the children born in Singapore after element zero exposure suffer from cancerous growths. Systems Alliance begins settlement of Earth's first extrasolar colony world, the planet Demeter. So we were born in 2154. Uh, System Alliance occupies completed portions of Arcturus Station as a headquarters. Oh, and then uh, some children of Singapore exhibit minor telekinetic abilities. Turians encounter human explorers. So this was the first contact war. So that was the first contact with alien species. And it immediately became a war, apparently. Humans learn the potential of biotics. An international effort to track element zero exposures begin. So biotics are kind of like uh, the sci-fi powers that they have. Roughly 10% of exposed children show some level of biotic ability. So our character, we chose her... She's a combination like soldier and biotics person. She'll, she'll, she's going to be good at close range guns and whatever these biotics are. So there's a systems alliance parliament formed. Humans establish embassy on Citadel. Atari enslavers attack the alliance colony of Mindor. Skillian Blitz, pirates and slavers attack Elysium, the human capital in the Skillian Verge. Thresher Maws devour the alliance colony of Kuz. That was where we were the sole survivor. And in retaliation for the Skillian Blitz, an Alliance fleet wipes out an army of slavers on the moon of Torfan. And now we're in 2183. Yeah, space magic. Primary, secondary. So I don't seem to be able to click on primary right now. All right, so yeah, we got a codex. We got a journal. Um, that apparently is going to keep up with us. It shows our assignments, our squad. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent or its rank to view it. Click on a talent to spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. So this is where this game is supposed to shine is story and RPG. So this is, I guess, where the RPG element starts to come in. And... I don't think I have any points. I shouldn't have any points. Oh, I have three points that I could spend. So I could put them in pistols, in shotguns. Well, shotguns is grayed out right now, apparently. Assault training increases melee damage, increases weapon damage, grants the adrenaline burst ability. I've already got two in pistols. I don't even know what I need yet. Vanguard is my class. They're trained for close-range combat and can use their own abilities to counter enemy biotic attacks. Increases biotic resistance, increases damage with shotguns and pistols. So that one actually includes both of those, it seems like. Charm and Intimidate. Apparently those are pretty good, both uh, conversation skill checks. So can we go ahead and give ourselves one of those? Oh, we can. Look at that. And how about some Charm as well? And maybe some Vanguard. <laughs> we'll just divide them up like that. So it looks like maybe these are my maxes right now. Because I've got these grayed out squares right now here. 
So maybe that's as high as I can put it into those at the moment. Um, yeah, something like that. You need a certain amount of point investment in pistol to unlock shotgun and so on for the other skills. Oh, maybe let's undo that. So that doesn't unlock pistol yet. So I guess that's not available at the moment. I don't know. Is that a reasonable thing to do? Seems like we're going to have a lot of conversational skill checks in the beginning, but this will give us a little bit of weapon stuff. I have no idea what I'm doing, but uh, I'm going to go with that <laughs> for now. And I don't think I have anybody else in my crew at the moment. Okay, so squad, map, um, save, equipment. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch item types. Click an item in the and click the equip group to uh, equip button to assign it. Click on the unequipped items on an equipped items upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click the Omni Gel button to break down the selected item into Omni Gel. Make it up as you go along. Yep, let's do what seems to make sense. So, right now. I'm not sure if I have any equipment. I think these are just the categories that they would go on, go in. Although she is pulling something out there. But I don't know if I actually have one. Oh, I do. I think. A sniper rifle. I have the Avenger 1. It's not showing down here. Uh, the pistol. I have the Kessler one. On the first round, you gave two to Charm and one on Intimidate. Okay, so I will, we'll come back here, I guess, um, and figure this out. But I guess I just have default stuff for now. What I wanted to get to is this, options, graphics. So yeah, this is correct. We're playing at 1440. Um, it's on my generic PNP monitor. We're doing full screen. And what are my other choices? Borderless. Uh, let's go ahead and put it on borderless. And then motion blur off. Dynamic shadows on. On. No frame rate cap. No film grain. Anti-aliasing on. Ambient inclusion on. And that's it, I guess, we have for graphic options. You can access, you have access to all weapons, but they can only specialize in what your class offers. Yeah, I heard that that is the new thing in the remastered edition, right? You were more restricted in weapons in the original version. Oop. Where'd it go? My screen blacked out. Uh, yes. But why is it now on the wrong? Oh, hi, puppy. Oh. Borderless doesn't seem to work out right, even though that's set at the right thing. So let's just go back to full screen, I think, and go back. Yeah, that's fine. I wanted borderless full screen, but uh, apparently that didn't work out. Okay. And then anything else we need to do here? Brightness. It seemed a little dark. Let's turn it up a little bit. And HDR is on auto. That's fine. Okay. And then sound. How's the sound, you guys? Let me know if it's too loud or too too quiet or whatever. I'll base that on what you guys tell me. Uh, controls. Mouse sensitivity is in the center. Normal. Default. Default. I uh, will leave all that for now. Oh, key bindings. Here we go. Looks like a standard WASD. Toggle walk is T. Okay. That's weird. Crouch is left control. And... Sprint is spacebar. Can I rebind this? Where'd my mouse go? Uh, no, I'm not sure. We'll unbind aim. 
Where's the aim? Oh, right mouse button. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Why would that unbind that? Yeah, I want sprint to be shift, but it's also the use key. What? Can we put that as shift? Unbind tactics. Eh. <laughs> All right, let's try to just keep it on default for now, I guess. You can rebind. Oh, good. Um, but I've never had sprint on spacebar. Use and sprint on spacebar. It's weird. Um, but let's see if I can get used to that. Map, equipment, squad, journal codex. I'm never going to remember those initially. Quick save is standard. F5, that's standard. Shoot, aim, change zoom level. Melee is F. That's important. First aid is V. I'm sure it'll prompt me on all these. But I like to go... Uh, get all, you know, used to them in the beginning. Holster weapon is H. That's all the way on the other side of my keyboard there, but uh, last weapon is X. Okay, so tactics HUD is holding left shift. And that's what we were going to mess up if we changed. Uh, order rally, order squad mutt. Okay, hopefully it's going to prompt me <laughs> all that stuff. Um, but I am... I guess I can keep that there. Muscle memory to use spacebar for sprint is going to be weird. I'm tempted to put this, but shift for, for use would be weird too. Um, I could put like the HUD on tab, because I don't see tab anywhere. Um, but let's go ahead and just keep it there. We'll customize it as we go along. Um, gameplay. Combat difficulty. We already got to choose all this stuff already. So it's good to go. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and play. The only thing we didn't look at was main menu, but uh, we're good. Oh, and there's a photo mode. Ooh, look at that. Move the camera. And we rotate. See how we can rotate. One second, guys. Um, tilt. Oh, tilt that way. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Shutter stuff, focal length. Yeah, so we can move the camera, but it doesn't look like we can spin around her. Uh, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, hide the HUD and take the photo. All right, let's go, let's play. All right, so we're supposed to go somewhere to meet dude. I told you I just saw him. He marked Violet he was on a mission. The inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Just do your job. <laughs> what do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. Investigate and I'll look into it. Sounds kind of the same. But, uh... Let's do investigate, I guess. Turian. So that guy is Turian. Hmm. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the, the first contact us. war. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board, especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. 
And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. All right, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. So, what do you guys think of the audio? I'm thinking that the um, the little background music is a little louder than the voices and stuff. Maybe we'll turn that down to like 75. Maybe a little higher. Something like that. Let me know what you think. Okay, and then where am I supposed to go? I grew up on Eden Prime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. So I guess I can talk to everybody who's got this, huh? What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. It always has this investigate thing. Let's ask about Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Hey, Big Wheel. This is Mass Effect. This is Mass Effect 1 of part of the remastered package. The Legendary Edition just came out. This is my first time playing Mass Effect ever, so we're checking it out and seeing what we think. Um, yes, it is. Just saw the above chat. <laughs> it definitely is. So everybody's wound up. We're going to Eden Prime, which is like this lush, beautiful, peaceful planet. Um, we don't know why. And uh, there's this Spectre on board, whatever that means. He's a race called Turian. His name's Neelius. N Neelius. And it's got everybody all worked up. Sometimes the, some of them have prejudice against the Turian race. And some of them are worried about Spectres, whatever they are. Um, but I guess we'll figure all this out. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so we gotta go find the captain. Was there anybody else on this deck? Ooh. I just pulled my gun out somehow. I <laughs> don't know how I did that. All right. All right, we're not we're not trying to shoot at anybody right now. Okay, nobody else to talk to here. That's supposed to be the captain. Oh no, it's Neilus the Spectre. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. Will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? It makes you think of Halo, Big Will? I never played Halo either, but it's definitely got that full armored sci-fi vibe going on here. Let's, let's ask him, what's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. 
Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. So remember, this is Mass Effect 1. It's got the jankiest graphics. The captain walked in, seems to have the, uh, the worst face <laughs> so far, which is unfortunate. Uh, but apparently they've improved some of the faces, so... Uh, that's obvious. I knew it. Let's just ask what's going on. Is someone going to fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Covert pickup. Uh, what are we picking up? What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Yeah, thank you for not spoiling, Sir Garwin. This is definitely all new to me, so de definitely no spoilers, but definitely want you guys in this with me for sure. I'm going into lurk mode. Yeah, his face is moving where it shouldn't. Don't pay a pe don't pay attention to that. <laughs> All right. So this goes beyond mere human interest. So yeah, one of the things I do know is that the uh, Protheans were this race from fifty thousand years before, and they were the one who basically figured out how to travel intergalactically um, for everybody. Like it's all based on their technology. Without them, none of these races would be able to do any of this stuff. Um, and so, yeah, there's a relic on this on this Eden Prime that's from them. I'm glad you're here to help. You sound worried. We don't need your help here. Why did we tell the council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. So I don't know exactly what the Spectres are, but uh, she may be promoted to it. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Okay. <laughs> Equal opportunity. I really like the Turian's face. That white on black is pretty cool. I don't know if that's paint or if that's like his actual skin. Who knows? But he looks cool. What's the next step? Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right, let's see if we can figure out anything else. Uh, beacon, Eden Prime, Protheans. Let's ask about the beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. 
that was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. <laughs> space paint on his space face. <laughs> space! Yeah, this is definitely a space adventure. Absolutely. Sorry about the clanks in there. My son's banging around in the kitchen, trying to get him to be quiet. They might figure... Terminus systems. I should know all this stuff, but we're going to ask just for the sake of me being a noob at this. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. All right, let's see if there's any more questions. We're going to ask about Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of Yeah, so that's society. what I said before. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. <laughs> Please be quiet while Daddy plays video games. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we had one last question here. Let's ask about Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world. Peaceful farming much world. Bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Of course, that would appear in the middle of a peaceful farming world to mess it all up. All right, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Uh oh What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Fight, fight! Oh no! Things aren't going well down there. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need to Oh! Let me at him, Captain. We'll go take care of this. Everything okay. cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. Peaceful farming planet? <laughs> Reverse and hold it 38.5. Was, apparently. What is that? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker, fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. Yeah, it's go shoot some stuff. Secure the beacon. We've got a job. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. She's got on a lot of lipstick for a soldier. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Now, what is that supposed to be? Ooh, Engaging space. That looks cool. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. So apparently they re remastered the all the textures Commander. in here. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? They were farming some eldritch around. horrors. Apparently. They woke up something that Nihilus should not have been awoken. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Okay. Understood, Captain. 
Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Spaceships. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay. All right, we're on the ground. So I heard this first combat's a bit jank. Hostiles everywhere. But uh, let's talk to these guys. Smells like smoke and death. Eden Prime. All right, I guess I can't talk to him. Oh God, what happened here? Oh God, what happened here? It's supposed to be some kind of janky cover system. Uh, but I guess it's not here. All right. And then I got that's my pistol. Gas bag. Don't worry, they're harmless. That is a different kind of gun. That must be my sniper. So I'm assuming this is my shotgun. And that's my pistol. These gas bags, he said they won't hurt us. And then I got dudes on my left and right. Check your targets. Could be friendlies. I don't know. Are we supposed to shoot these? Oh God! What happened here? Hold left shift to switch weapons for your squad. Oh, I see. Okay. He's got. What is he? Kessler. And then this guy. I'm assuming they're starting with what they're meant to do. I don't know what... The world looks great. Yeah, let's go into here, go into our squad. So he's a sentinel. He is... Sentinels, I think, are the tech guys? I don't remember. He's got two points to spend. So we could put those into his talents. This is the force of throw barrier. Also, is this like his, um, is he a biotics guy? Decryption. <clears throat> That's like hacking. First aid. Cooldown time of biotic and tech. Oh, they're, they're the biotic and tech guys. Okay. And he's got a point in throw and a point in decryption. Let's give him a point in first aid so we can get the heals on. And then uh, a point in his sentinel ability? I don't know. We'll make it up. <laughs> he is both, right. But he's not a soldier. He's not a gun guy, which is why he had the pistol, apparently, right? And then this guy, he's a soldier. So we should give him the heaviest gun. So we gotta remember Richard's the, the soldier and Caden's the uh, tech biotic guy. So he's got two points. Uh, let's move him up to uh, assault rifles. Allows long bursts of assault rifle fire without overheating. And we'll give him one in uh, soldier. Why not? Okay. So those are our guys. And now, so if you hold left shift... How do we know what... Okay, this is Jenkins. This is Caden. Right, so he's got his... Kessler, Lancer, Quip Storm. I wish they'd tell me what they are. Rather than just giving the names of them. Hopefully that is the assault rifle, I guess? That looks like a shotgun. So that must be the assault rifle. Yeah, I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. And then... Yeah, and this must be the snipey snipe. Let's do snipey snipe. For starters. Oh yeah, that's definitely a snipey snipe. And where are we going? Cutscene. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Jenkins! Oh, that's the gas bag. We don't want to shoot that. What's that? Any more bad guys? He's down. Onshore party. I only had my points for my main. Anyone else is set automatically. I guess it didn't, there was no point in giving him points, huh? All right, we can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay. So let's head on. Give me my gun back. Now, oh, I can crouch, okay. Medigel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnigel can be used to bypass decryption and electronics challenges. Both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. You give me anything? <laughs> Press V to use Medigel to heal your squad. I don't know if we need to heal you. Try to catch up with you at the dig site. We should move, Commander. Okay. Yeah, this feels like a fairly linear track I'm supposed to be taking here. Use left shift to issue orders to your squad, or use Z, attack your target. Q or E, have a specific squad mate. Move to a point. C to call them back. Oh, okay. So one's Q, one's E. And what was the other one? Z? Is it going to tell me? So like if I say Z over here. Oh, I'm supposed to remember all this stuff here. Real quick again. Uh, options. Controls. No. Key bindings. Okay, so C has them all go back. Squad mate one is Q. Uh, two is E. Attack is Z. Oh, and I can use these keys to switch to specific things too. Okay. So like if I press Q, Okay, he goes there. All right. Z is attack. Oh, so if I put, press Z on that, I mean, he should know, right? So let's tell him to attack that. Doesn't attack it. He's doing good. He's doing good. So is there anything I'm supposed to be looking for to loot? Like, the, oh, there's something over here. Let's see what this is. What do we got? How do I interact? I guess I got a Medigel out of it, I think. All right. Can I see his health? Oh yeah, he's he's lost some, but he's all right. Whoa, what's going on? Cutscene. She was on that video we were watching. What's her name? Ashley. Oh, what the hell? Get off of him. Oh! Yikes. He was skewered.
Got some sort of Giger robots here. Okay. Get him. What is that sound? Oh, that's the cooldown on my weapon? Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Yeah, that wasn't very hard. <laughs> but we do have it on normal. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your ma'am? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Payback. Let's ask about Geth. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. So they're rebel robots. Let's ask a few more questions. Uh, Beacon? Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. And one more question here. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. All right, let's go. Move out! Move <laughs> out! <laughs> All right, here we go. Press escape to go to the squad screen to spend talent points for your new squad members. Okay. Uh, wait, no wrong one? Oh, right one. Okay, here we go. So, Ashley w Williams, she's a soldier. So, we got a new soldier now. We got two points for her. Uh, let's give her uh, assault rifle and soldier. Okay. Yeah, we could make that auto, but I'm having fun looking at it for now. All right, let's go. And we got these things here. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Oh, recovered items. Phys phasic rounds, hammerhead rounds. Take all. Okay. Is there a just a like a button for take all? Or we got to press this every time. Light armor, human, scorpion one. So we got that now. We could change it to omni gel, apparently. That's nasty. Ooh, they spiked them all. Run to the waypoint to take cover behind the rock. Enter cover by moving up to the rock with your weapon drawn. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be the janky cover system. Move to the edge of cover and press left mouse button to fire. Hold right mouse button to what? To aim. How do I get out of cover? Spacebar, apparently. I'm not a fan of this. Did we get headshot damage here? 
Press G to throw a grenade. Okay. Hold spacebar while moving to storm forward rapidly while in combat. Okay, that's my sprint button. Got any more bad dudes? Where are they at? Easy peasy. Oop, where else? Where, 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 where? Oh, he's right there. <laughs> All right. How's, how's everybody's health? Oh, I can see it down there. Okay, let's give, uh, what's his face? Some gel. There we go. And take all. Shotgun! Shotgun! So I don't know anything about these. Eventually, I'm sure I'll be like, oh yeah, that's the one I want. What's this? Dig site. Investigate. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Alright, let's go there. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Everybody coming? Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Yikes, more spikes. Eee. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? They don't look exactly human. Did they start human? Husk. I have a feeling these guys are going to attack us. They don't look. Yep. Bad husks. Go team, go. Yeah, my weapon, I get like two shots before it needs a We done here? What's this? That door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to ex uh, access. If any squad member has the re required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending Omnigel. Advance to the central core. Move the mouse to move around the ring. Left click and right click to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Uh, okay. What are we supposed to do here? There was left click and right click. Okay. It's just like a circular game of Frogger. <laughs> Door is open. All right, let's go see what's in here. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Oh, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. <laughs> uh, let's ask about the attack. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. This guy's we a could poet. We battle outside, 
Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Okay. Uh, beacon? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. <laughs> Manuel, please. This isn't the time. I'm going to write an epic saga about it. All right, we have one more question here. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Okay, goodbye. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication. <laughs> the medication. Okay. All right. Let us move on. I guess. There's still a thing here. You're wasting your time. The age of humanity is over. Our extinction is inevitable. Manuel, I need to ask you something. It's probably best if you just leave him alone. Time to shut you up. Say goodnight, Manuel. The darkness is coming. The end is near. You can't. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! What did you do? I punched him apparently. Extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Ah. Uh. It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. <laughs> We punched them in the face. All right, I think it's time to go, yeah? Apparently we can talk to her some more, but I think we've learned what we need to learn. So, let's try a different gun. That's the shoddy. That must be the assault rifle, right? Ooh, that's nice. Let's try that. Uh-oh. Cutscene. There's our Turian Spectre. The nice face paint. Space face paint. Saren. Oh, so there was another Turian here. He must be the betrayer. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. So, yeah, that must have been the Turian that Crazy Dude saw beforehand. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Ooh, look at that. Wait. Photo mode. Why is it blurry? Okay, that just pulls back. But how do I turn off the, the vignette thing? Oh, there. Turn off depth of field. There we go. And... Yeah, let's take that photo. Did we? I'm not sure that we did. Hopefully. I don't even know where these are going. But we can uh, do it like that and I'll do it with NVIDIA. All right. There we go. 
is tough. So I'm gonna blow up. Good here. Oh, yeah, we got something else to unlock over here. Okay. Oh, missed it. Okay. Here we go. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. So I guess Tell that's the Geth the ship. Pool. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the dam. Shriek of the dam. It was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. All right. Let's ask you know more questions. About the beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered. These are the to peaceful us. farmers. Not until now. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Okay, so that's all the investigation. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. Uh, you should come clean. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Give it. Who's your contact at the space? What did he give? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Okay. He may know something fine. Is he worth dying for? Let's just move I have on. To go. Good luck. Okay, so hopefully he gave us whatever that thing is. Oh, recovered items. Pistol, the stinger, and weapon upgrade. The combat sensor. We will take all. We'll figure out this stuff later, what we need to keep and, and so on. And there's a thing down here, too. What's this? Oh, we got some Omni Gel out of that. Okay. And then. Where are we headed? I'm assuming the terrain is just going to sort of guide us there. But let's investigate. Commander. It's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Oh, that was Nihilus. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I, I'm sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. That's right, Surly. He, he called him Saren. Mass Effect Legendary I, Remastered. I they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. 
that Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Uh, then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Oops. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the <laughs> Her crates. Her eyes are higher up, pal. <laughs> I, sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't. He was find. snoozing. You survived. He's looking down, lazy? isn't he? Lucky break for you. Investigate. You make me sick. Uh, let's investigate. All right. Uh, this is all the same stuff, but let's ask about the ship. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I've never seen anything like it before. It, it was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. Thousands? They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. All right, let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. Take the cargo train. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yeah, this is my first time playing Mass Effects early. We're checking it out. All right. Oh, this must be... Oh, this is... We're back to that. Let's check out the pistol. Why not? Alright, let's, uh... Let's heal everybody. Apparently I've taken some hits. I don't know how much mommy gel I have. Took a hit there. And am I supposed to um, I keep uh, hitting shift? I'm going to have to change that. I'm trying to sprint. That's just like ingrained in my muscle memory. Doesn't look like there's anything uh, for me to check out on the bodies. So we got to take the cargo train. Wherever that's at. So yeah, F1, F2, F3. Four. All right. Who are we shooting at down here? They can see him, but I can't. Oh, here we go. Do I get a shot? I don't think so. I gotta go down a little lower. Maybe it seems that uh, sounds have been improved or it's your headset. I played a bit of the first one. Yeah, this is the first one. We've got all three in the package. But I figured we had to start with the first. So the goal right now is to get through the first for the story. And then uh, move on to two, which is supposed to be the masterpiece. So it looks like we have a whole cover thing here. We gotta get through. Okay, I'm overheated. Can I switch to another one when I'm overheated? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, this is 
back to the sniper. It's not letting me uh, switch with the F keys there. Are we good? Not in the middle of a fight. She thinks I'm trying to talk to her, but I was just trying to leave cover. Oh crap! What the hell? I died. Critical mission failure. Oh no! I didn't even see that coming. All right, it's a little bit more serious than I thought. I wasn't even taking this serious. Resume last save. So it's supposed to be auto saving. I don't know how far back that is. Okay, we're just to here. All right. So I still got to figure out this cover system. Where's my assault rifle? I think is that that must be the shotgun, right? Woo! Okay, that was nice. Yeah, space to shift is just never going to work for me, except shift to interact is going to be difficult too. Alright, let's heal up now before we die. Okay, and let's switch to the uh, assault rifle, I think. Hold left shift to bring up the power wheel. Power is an ability of our squad. I can throw... Throw enemies using the mass effect field. Warp. Damages all nearby enemies and objects and makes them more vulnerable to further damage. So is this the only way I access them? Quick save often. Well, I'll quick save there. I pressed F5. Hopefully that did something. I didn't get any kind of a uh, thing. Now let's try, let's try something. Uh, let's try throw. What's this do? Bam, nothing. Why they don't die? Okay, and uh, what was the F4 was my snipey? And then it's overheated. Okay, let's try another power. What do we got? We got uh, warp. All right, let's go ahead and do it. I don't think that did anything. Oh, he died. Okay. We gotta understand these biotics. And now, how do I pull out of these? I guess it's just space. thing sure overheats. You can drag some of your skills to the uh, hotkeys at the top of your tactic screen. Oh, okay. Oh, now it'll just be numbers. Okay. Let's see. So if we... Can we drag this up here? Like that? Oh, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So do we have two now? Okay. So, it's hard to aim those. But we'll get used to it. Apparently one has the jankiest combat, so... We gotta get through it. Who's left? Someone's left, because they're still shooting. Here, Geth Trooper. All right, let's let's use our uh, can we use our one ability here. Nope, that didn't do nothing. All right, uh, let's uh, let's get our shoddy up, which I think is this one, and let's go get him. 
Well, where'd he go? He's not there. Alright. Get down. Let's heal everybody. And get back to the snipey snipe. Got him. Anybody else? Yeah, her little cover shooter little gauntlet here. It does take a bit of getting used to. All right, train controls. Let's go on the train ride. Whee! All right, we got through that on the second time. Set the charges. Destroy and that's the entire the colony. evil Turian. Leave no evidence that it's we too bad here. he killed Nihilus. Nihilus was cool. Yeah, he's definitely leading the Geth. Set the charges. Do I know about the special investigation choices and how that will direct your path? I've been doing the investigate things, but I don't know how it'll direct my path. I do know that the um, dialogue cho choices have impact. And that there is a whole branching path to it. We're just standing right out in the open there. Okay. So we gotta go... Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Disarming. Hurry. We need to find them all and shut them down. Okay. Working on it. Let's press an F5 here. these charges. I see one. Two charges remaining. Yeah, we've definitely got to upgrade this rifle. Alright, let's try our power. I don't know if that did anything. I'm, a little busy here. I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to get out of cover. I guess this doesn't count as cover here. Well, now it does. Okay, stop cooling down. Dead. Here's the second to last one. Okay. We gotta find one more somewhere. Oh, got him. Switch to better weapons faster. Uh, take all. All right, here it is. Bup, 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 bup. One is highlighted in blue, and the other in bright red. Which are? Okay. So, what about now? Oh. Used to be beautiful here. Smells like smoke and death. All right, I assume we just kind of follow along here. Oh, hi. Got my way. Okay, let's switch to uh, assault rifle. Uh, boom. 
let me through here, guys. You're blocking me. I'm gonna be pressing shift this whole time, man. Is that everybody's? Alright, we'll see all these goodies we got later. Oh, that's the Prothean Beacon. Alright, let's get a save in here. Quick save complete. So I guess there's only certain places I can save. Where is Saren? I guess he's out of here. Dare we investigate? They set the place to blow, but they didn't take the thing they Norm came for. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. So you're saying the investigation choices are highlighted in blue and red? Oh! Are we gonna lose another dude? I saved him. Now I need to get away from him. Shep. No, don't touch me. It's too Ouchie. Oh my. That can't be good. I didn't get a game over though. The beacon doesn't look so good now. Oh well. So much for uh, <laughs> discovering Prothean technology. Got some achievement from that. We identified the ship that touched down on oh my. time. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Arg, rar, arg. <laughs> I love the subtitles there. He mad. This human must be eliminated. I guess that can be considered using it. It's more like it used me. So, Sigar, when you're saying that in the investigation Doctor, choices, it's significant Dr. whether they're blue or red. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. Not great. Well, let's just get down to the bones of it. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. His mouth is doing weird things, too. I could scold him. Or make him feel better. Or just get straight to about the beacon. I'm sure both of these have options that they unlock. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead with this one. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Was I hurt? Obviously I was hurt. Not a local hospital. Let's just go thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense... So I was definitely affected by the beacon. Not a dream, a vision. More like a nightmare. I'd rather have a vision than a nightmare. So let's put it there. I saw 
I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. So, I'm getting an error on YouTube. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. About receiving enough video. Are you sure you're okay? Hopefully it's gonna clear up. It's gonna hang here for a second. It's probably... a little blip in my internet. But uh, we're going to hang out for a second until it clears up. Can you guys hear me? Looks like it's uh, looking a little janky there. And yeah, definitely must be an internet thing. I did not restart my router before this one. I should have. But usually these clear up in a moment. If need be, we can start a, start a second stream after rebooting the router, but um, we're going to hang out see if it resolves itself. It tends to. Can you guys hear me and stuff all right? Still got a red, code red over in OBS and code yellow over on YouTube. Come on. You can do it. I got fiber. I got a shuttering stream. You can, I can hear me. You can hear me though. Okay. I got fiber internet, but just once in a while, while I'm streaming, this happens. Now it's saying no data. Come on, come on. And. Hopefully. Oh, I saw a blink to green there. Come on, internet. Nope. Oh. oh, we're green. We're green. Let's wait for the uh, dashboard to show it. Oh, it's red again. Going yellow, going green. <laughs> Getting buffering occasionally. Yeah, it's going in and out now. But we're just going to hang out for a second, let it clear up. And then, when it does, we'll proceed. If it doesn't, we'll have to restart. But I got a few more hours in me, for sure. We're going to keep playing. And uh, we have a whole Mass Effect 1 to get through here. I'm being told people can hear me just fine. It's just the stream is buffering. It's back in the green again now. So hopefully, hopefully it will stay there. It's looking solid, looking solid. Just waiting for YouTube. Ah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're good again. All right. All right, let's proceed. We made it through that. So, sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard. Commander, you sure you're okay? feel bad about Je Jenkins, what happened to Williams, pissed off about the Geth. You might not be able to pick those red or blue options if you don't have enough Charm or Intimidate or Paragon Renegade scores. So I don't know what Paragon Renegade scores are, um, but you're saying that there's skill checks involved with those ones. So, if they're red, I may not be able to pass the skill check. Is that what's going on with that? It doesn't really explain that. Um, let's say I'm pissed off about the Geth. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. And let's say, what happened to Williams? Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? Good guy, bad I guy. I figured we could use a oh. soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I'm boring. I usually like to be the good guy. The 
just a little bit of evil. <laughs> you gotta keep a little evil because it comes in handy sometimes. Okay, so Ashley is uh, with us now. I'm gonna say good. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. And I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Okay, so I, these seem to be like all the optional dialogues, and the one on the right seems to be the ones that um, actually advance it along. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. Yeah, that beacon... It's kind of messed up. We should have kept our distance. Uh, they're going to want answers. We got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. Well, let's ask about ha hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, let's go for the vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning, war, or our death. Uh, let's say a warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Mmm, what will we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. Oh, so he did but get the I information from it. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Yeah, not to mention that he killed a fellow Turian. Alright, not if I can help it. <laughs> I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Alright, so we gotta head up to the bridge and bring Joker into dock. Uh, let's take a look, a little look around while we're doing this. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. 
It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Okay, what do we choose here? These are all yellow, so we don't have the uh, red and green. Let's, uh... You know, I'm kind of boring. I'm generally going for the good guy. We're going to generally talk positively to people when we can. So we're going to say, seems like you've been around. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any posts in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Okay. I got Paragon points for that. So what are, what are Paragon points, guys? And, uh... Let's see, let's look at Squad, I believe. Shepard, so... Paragon... Vanguard. What does that mean? And oh, I just got one little tiny point there. Oh, sh I am a Vanguard. So what are Paragon points? I don't know. Oh, look, I got six points to spend. Holy crap. Okay. We can do assault training. We can do pistols. Um, a throw and the warp. Let's increase our biotics. Good guy points, bad guy points. So, Paragon is good guy points, and Vanguard is bad guy points. Oh, here we go, Renegade points. I see. So I've got more bad guy points than I have good guy points right now. All right. <laughs> uh, let's do Charm and Intimidate. And I don't know how fast these points are going to stack up. I don't know how that happened. I've been being a good guy. Oh, let's go ahead and max these out right now. What the hell? This, I don't know. It seems like they're going to come fast and loose. And it looks like... Oh, I can take them back at any time. That's great. Okay. I see now. I see. Oh, and actually, let's, uh, real quick. Oh, I don't have a squad right now, because we're not on the ground. Okay. It's nice that you can move your points around. That's pretty cool. All right, let's talk to her. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Personal questions. Captain Anderson, Kaidnalenko. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. Exotic adventure. I wanted adventure. to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Investigate. Oh, wait, How we did didn't. you end up serving on an Oops, Alliance sorry. ship? I, enlisted I just want to right go back to that school. question I missed. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. 
Ever think you made the wrong choice? That's what I wanted to get to. Sometimes I Any think regrets? about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. Dr. Chakwas. There's something special Chakwas. about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I don't know how important all this is to ask these questions. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the It whip. definitely fills in the, the story. Knows he seen pretty much and that's what we're in this one into. for. And he cares about the people under his command. All right, one more. Kaiden Alenko. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Yikes. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. He just gets headaches. <laughs> Woo, he's lucky. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Everybody's all lined up to talk to me. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Ashley looked more interesting in her uh, in her suit. Soldiers die. He'll be missed. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. If you invest more in the charm and intimidate skills, you start unlocking the red and blue options during dialogue. Investigate will give more lore and story. Well, I've maxed them out for the moment, so hopefully it does. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. And guys, how is the 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 volume balance? My the the volume of me versus them is it pretty good right now, or are they louder than I am? All right. Well, glad to have you. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Okay. And then we need to move on. Oh, you missed the skill point dumping. Yeah, I put it. Uh, I put it into uh, charm and intimidate for now. Okay, this is not where I'm supposed to be. All right, let's look at the map. And. We're here. That's to deck one, to deck two. Plot. Captain's office. Oh, wait. That's Ashley. That's Caden. I don't actually know where I am. And where were we supposed to go? Let's go uh, back to the journal, I guess. Assignments. No assignments. Missions. Speak to Joker. Apparently. Okay. So back at the map, Joker would be... I guess over here somewhere. Deck one, deck three. There's no you are here. Weapons and gear may be cheaper at certain shops. Your Paragon and Renega Renegade points will also determine some of the red-blue options. Not all the time, though. Okay. Apparently, I also have a bunch of stuff that I got there. That I'm going to need to figure out with inventory what to do. So we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, this is just a dead end. That's where we came from.
No, here we go. No. Up here, maybe? Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to get there. So now, we're in the captain's office. So we need to go straight up and around, maybe? Ah, uh, here we go. Ooh. In the Norman Normandy's vehicle bay, using the squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment bay may be purchased from the requisition officer. So we got the, uh, I know this is called the Mako. We'll be using this later. Spect? Who's this? Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Supplies? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. So he's an independent Without vendor. Goods, I'm out of a job. Show me. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. I don't know what I need right now, but let's just look what he's got. He's got... Heavy armor, medium armor, so I can only wear up to medium. If I don't have that, I should get it. Scorpion 4, Avenger 3, shotgun, so I'm gonna have to see what I've got. There's a sell all junk thing, but it's not lit, so we wanna compare. Also, I've got heavy armor. Wait, am I wearing that? Okay, we're gonna have to back out of here and then, uh... Got all this... stuff. Um, so, let me see, to get into my inventory... Equipment. Okay, so, I've still got... The one assault rifle. I've got two shotguns. I gotta learn how to compare these, so... That one looks a lot crappier. This does more damage and has more heat sink capacity. So... This crappy one... I guess we turn it to omni Joe. Yes. Okay, so we got the better shotgun. And then the pistol. Okay, that's the better pistol. So we want to omni-gel that one. I'm assuming this is how you go about this, right? We want the, the two instead of the one. And then it turns it into money, right? And then, so, yeah, we just have the one assault rifle. We now the better shotgun, pistol. We only have the one sniper rifle. We have no grenades. Biotic amp, we don't have. Okay, and we've got three kinds of light armor. That dude had a heavy armor. This must be my Omni Gel. What's this? Five of five. Of, uh, that must be like the, um, the Medi Gel. This must be grenades. Which I guess I have five of five. And then this, what is this? 24 of something. There's no thing when I level, when I cursor over it. My charm will help make uh, gear cheaper. You won't be able to equip medium until you unlock it. Oh, okay. What's that? 
Oh, it goes back. Okay. Correct. Okay. And then uh, back here. So tactical armor. I guess I have to get through assault training to open up tactical armor. Right now it says able to equip light armor. Unlocks medium armor. Okay. Yeah, so I'm assuming this leads to this. Uh, just for funsies. Oh, I can't pull these back. We are locked in. Okay. Can we undo talent points? No. Okay, so you can only undo it while you're making a decision. Once you choose, you are locked in. Got it. Okay. Um, all right. Now that we've done that, let's talk to this guy. Looking for supplies? Yes. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Okay, so... Um, what's he got? He's got... So he's got the Avenger 3 Sniper. It costs 8000 so forget that. Okay, so we can't afford most of this stuff. We can just sort of go over it and see that it's all red. All right, so he's no good to me now. Oh, wait, but we had to compare our... Um, I keep forgetting which to, to press here. We have to get rid of some of our armor. So, no, I wanted equipment. Because we had... Three sets of armor, right? Boom. Boom. So we've got... Uh, Onyx 1 equipped... Oh, so your equip thing doesn't show down here? Is that the thing? Oh, okay. So this is extra. This has better shields, but those others suck. Uh, so this is the one we want, the Scorpion 1. So we, what, we equip that? There we go. And that's worse, worse, worse. Okay, so all these can be Omnigel. Got it. Jane played for 13 hours yesterday. Wow. Cool. I don't see this going up. This is Omni Gel. Okay. Okay. And so. I thought Omnigel was money, but apparently not. Alright, so now we can look at these better. So, this assault rifle has a lower accuracy, but better damage and hit heat sink. But not by much. So I'm not sure which one to keep. Avenger one. A little bit more damage for less accuracy. Probably evens out. So should I not be turning them to Omni's Jail? Should I be selling them? And then this shotgun has much better damage capacity, much better heat sink capacity, but only slightly worse accuracy. So we probably want to equip this one and trash the other one. But I'm going to wait for you guys to tell me whether it's better to turn them into Omni Gel or to sell them to the other dude. Okay, this pistol is better in every way. So let's equip that. This sniper. It's only slightly less accurate. It has much better heat sink. This one sucked. So let's go ahead and equip that. And then we don't have extra grenades. So we do have grenades, but with just the one kind. And what was this? Biotic amp. Yeah, just the one kind. Okay. Yeah, so you guys let me know what I should be doing with my equipment. Selling or Omnigel? And how does, what's the Omnigel versus money? And where's Joker? Engineer Adams. Okay. Uh, 
this there's me. Omni Jail can be used to bypass doing manual unlocks. As you level up more, you'll get more money by selling them. Oh, okay. So it sounds like I should sell, huh? Shoop, shoop, shoop. Okay, so he's not in this level. I'm on the engineering. It's not where I need to be. What's this? My locker? Uh oh, did we freeze up? Can you sell them? Uh oh, I think we got our first crash, guys. Or something. I am locked up. All right, <laughs> we're gonna have to exit out. Close window. Now we gotta do the full control alt delete. Hopefully it saved everything I just did. So unfortunate if it didn't. But at least now I know a little bit better what I'm doing. Okay, that did that. Uh, okay, let's just get back to that. What's going on here? Yeah, it's still locked up. Did not... Okay, now it's really crashing. We've had one crash. Okay. The whole game didn't crash, though. Well, this... I guess this isn't really the game. This is just like a little... Uh, what do you call it? Portal to the games. Alright. Let's resume. Omnigel is a form of currency, but can be used to fix the macro and bypass chest and lock doors. That's what I use them for. Okay. It doesn't do the best job at explaining this stuff. In key. You can also add upgrades to armor or weapons. Click on the boxes at the top of your equip pieces. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's see how far back it put us. Oh, we're back here. And. Yeah, I still have all this stuff. I've got 16 Omni Gel right now. All right, so we gotta look at things again real quick. Um, this accuracy seems a lot worse, so we're not gonna equip that one. This one, we're gonna equip. We're gonna equip that. Okay, and... Sniper rifle. Yeah, we're going to equip that. And then we didn't have anything here. And then you said for each of these guys... Uh, click on the boxes. Oh, here we go. Hammerhead rounds. Uh, also called squash projectiles. Is designed to flatten on impact, increasing the amount of physical force. Plus 20 force. Phasic rounds. Instead of projectiles, upgraded weapons release charged particle bolts that can bypass kinetic barrier shields. However, the actual damage to the, done to the target is typically less than what's done by a standard round. Also, it bypasses shields but does less damage. Oh. I like that one. Let's equip it. Okay. And then... Okay, going through them. Phasic rounds. Okay, yeah, this is still that shield bypass thing. So we're gonna leave that alone for now. And then for the pistol. 
Same thing. So that can be put on any weapon, apparently. Okay. And in here, I don't see anything about weight. I wonder if I have a weight limit? Or not. And do I have the best armor on? Oh, this one's better. Alright, so let's equip that one. Okay. Oh, and let's see what it's got. Nothing. Okay. Now I'm going to press F5. <laughs> Make sure we save this stuff. Do I got to talk to these Glad guys to again? Okay, oh, I don't have any save from any of that stuff I did. I guess. No, I'm not getting the options Commander, here. I'm glad to see you're oh yeah, okay. here we are. Jenkins was hard on the so we gotta get through this stuff again. I wonder I'm if there's any way, uh... Things were pretty rough down to yeah, speed up the dialogue? Dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. Doesn't seem like it. But at least you stop Saren from Alright, this is a little lesson on pressing F5. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. But we'll just speed through these. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel oh, space? Council's not going to be happy about that. Oh, okay. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. Yeah, a lot of... Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Thank you for that. Eventually. I never met my parents. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Okay. The captain hopes that whatever happens, we'll be ready. Okay. We talk to him. Was there anybody else here? There's Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part, part of me life. feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, you're a good soldier. Thanks, right? Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty I rough. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot. We couldn't have done it. Thanks, Commander. <laughs> I have to admit. It's pretty I funny when you skip. Thanks, good. Commander. Okay, and then there was her. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on the I enlisted. Alliance? I wanted. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. Everything you made. Sometimes. But there's something special about working on soldiers. What Fair do you know about Captain? Absolutely. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about How them. well do you know I've never tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy. What does that have to do with well, it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific... I should go. Side. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Now we're going to save again. <laughs> now that we've talked to everybody again. All right, and then uh, there was nothing for us up here. Let me see, I think we figured out the commander's quarters are over here. Is that right? I don't know, I'm getting a little lost. Oh, okay. This is where we were trying to get to anyway. I assume Joker's up here. No. Oh, yeah. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh, and we still need to re equip our upgrades. Spaceship cutscene. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your 
approach. Transferring you to an alliance operator. Cool. Big spaceships. Normandy, this is Citadel. Please proceed to dock 422. Citadel gets loud, too. Okay. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. All right. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. It's the truth. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than <laughs> enough right, to Sir jeopardize Garland. your candidacy for the Spectres. You haven't spoiled anything so far. Eden You've been very helpful. A chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come all right, me, Wicked. Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. I appreciate Shepard, all the help. You and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Yep. Okay, important locations are marked on your map. Press M to ex access it. Okay, so... So we're over here. This is a uh, point of interest has an X. It's interesting to call that a point of interest. So this is Avena. That's the CSEC Academy. Okay. There's two Avenas. Avena, Avena. Avena. Interesting. All right, follow the pulse and arrow on your radar to the Citadel Tower. All right, we want to go see that point of interest, though. What's this? Oh, decrypting. Sure. Okay. Override success succeeded. Alliance patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during the patrol of the Argos Row Cluster, but she had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? All right. So add that to our journal, apparently. All right, let's... We've got to investigate these points of interest. So we just made it up here. we got to take a left, I think. And this is uh, our destination. Avena. Allow me to be oh, Avena is like Alexa. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avena, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Ah, uh, Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. 
I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Sounds interesting. So now I understand why there is multiple Avenas. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Hmm. Okay. We have to go through these. Oh, there's multiple. All right, uh, let's start with specters. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. Okay. License to kill. Uh, embassies? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently That's added a long embassy time. belongs to your own species, humanity. <coughs> it was added 19 <laughs> galactic the most recent? standard years ago, despite nineteen years. vocal opposition. <laughs> uh, why was humanity opposed? Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Mm, what do you think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified I judgment. Figured. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. And just an embassy? Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the <laughs> Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Alright, anything else here? Oh yeah, we still got two more. CSEC? I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. All right, and one more. Citadel Council. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since a lot then, of history the three in here. Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. 
I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interactions. So I have to simulation. catch one more time what the three council races are. So let's just look at that what again re real quick. Council? Originally, the council consisted Asari of Asari and Salarians. And Salarians. In addition to the Turians. In Citadel space. Okay, and I'm not sure what Asari and Salarians are yet. Extent. Since then, the three council races okay. have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. So here's a Turian here. And so I guess we'll get to know who the Asari and Salarians are. Soon enough. Who's this? Embassy receptionist. This must be one of those other two. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. Commander? Have we met? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please. She's access very blue. Line. Personal question. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. This is a... Uh, a Siri? Is that what you're saying, Sir Garwin? Okay, return. Goodbye. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. So those guys are the same. Oh, and then this must be the Solarian. Kaidenelenko. Oh, yeah, that's our dude. Okay. All right, so we're supposed to go over here. Asari. Yeah. All right, so we use this to travel. This is where we're meant to go. Presidium locations. Citadel Tower. Let's go. Zoom! So it's a little fast travel. We didn't get to actually ride it! Ah. Oh, it's okay. I understood you. Alright, so... Garrus. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. They weren't very discreet. Commander Shepard. He's got a cool Garrus eye thing. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. You blew it. You don't like Saren. Who was that? Uh, let's do who was that. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. You'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. And what did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. He's a decent-sounding Turian. This place is big and cool looking. Is it time for photo mode. I wonder if there's a button that gets straight into photo mode. Oh, I wish I could. Uh, oh, I can spin around here. I guess it depends on where you're at. How do I go down? They're so stiff, though. Can we pose them at all? Hide. You can hide stuff. Film grain. Want that off. I don't think there's any posing them. 
just hiding them. We can hide the party. <laughs> and uh, that's not the best photo. I'm hoping it took it. There's no like confirmation that you took the picture. It says spacebar. Anyway. Okay. You look leisurely. I also need to figure out where all these photos go. The bolus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bolus will be right What's this? Oh no. Exit, I think. We're already here. Alright, yeah, we're headed up to the right spot. You look creepy. The hearing's already started. Come on. The guest Only in Cyberpunk can you do that? Concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Insults typical, see he hates us, you'll pay. None of these are great. Let's do insults typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. That's Your not exactly what it needs to learn it seemed place. it was gonna say, but that's You're all not right. ready to join the council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. This guy is Shepard's angry. Mission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Quit protecting him. I'll find proof. You arrogant bastard. All right, let's do I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend <laughs> He's my such a bastard. this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Uh, let's say you won't see the truth. You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. <laughs> he didn't like that. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is... And we know the truth. Yes, we do. That's quite a little plummet down from there. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Oh, is that Every all? Every colony we have is at risk. <laughs> no problem. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know Saren? Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. 
We needed the drone taking pictures or something. We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Oh, I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. All right. I'm on it. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. All right, any other leads? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. <laughs> so would I. <laughs> <laughs> He's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Oh my god. That's a lot of options. Um, holy crap. Okay. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. We're too independent. Why do we bother? I think we already did this. No, I think this is a a unique choice. You and Saren have a history. No, no, no. What that happened? was it. About twenty. So we already did that. I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Okay. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Okay. Next, Spectres. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Okay. How are they chosen? How are they organized? How about if one goes too far? What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. 
But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Okay. I think these are all informational here. I think we're going to go ahead and move along to Barlavon. Bar Tell me about Barlavon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper. All right, trail. Wicked. A financial Thanks for coming and hanging out. Do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay. And then, uh, Shadow Broker? Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. All right. That's a good amount of investigation. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. So, next on our list, let's uh let's check this out uh with our journal. So, we got to expose Saren. We got to investigate him. We have to uh, speak to Harkin and go see Barlafon. So let's, um, I'm not sure how we can do this. We can definitely go speak to Harkin. So let's go back to the map and see where we need to go. So we're going to need to transition out of here. Okay. And you can set your destination in here, too. Alright, let's go. Hopefully there's no loot or anything here we're supposed to be finding. That guy's up to something. Oh, you're weird. What guy? What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Okay. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Uh, relax. Why not? Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. I see. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Not interested? Let me help. <laughs> All right, uh, I guess we're getting involved in this. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. So scanning the Keepers, which I guess are these things. Trying to scan it. Do I need to equip the device? Oh, nope. 
I'm looking for the scanner. These are all guns. I guess you could start a fight here. That's interesting. Yeah, so let's holster that. How do I scan it? I must, should just be spacebar, right? Like everything else? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. Now I'm talking they to her. Good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. Oh, I guess we did scan it. No, and we got some XP and some points. All right. Um, moving along. Let's move on out of here. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. Okay, so we stacked up a whole bunch of stuff to do here. Oh, to the Presidium. Alright, let's go. I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. They're suddenly very quiet. His word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. All right, it says we could press spacebar to skip. There's a keeper. Let's scan it. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay, how did I get it scanned? Pressing spacebar. Let's see. Let's look at our equipment again. See if we can find where that scanner is. This is all that basic stuff. So I don't see it in here anywhere. And I don't see any other... things for inventory. I'm going to do a save here. What do I do? If I right click, that's just gonna bring my gun out. It's giving me the option to scan it. I'm holding spacebar. Oh, I just have to tap it. Okay. I got XP and money. Quick tap. Ooh, look at this. This is pretty. You know what this means, guys. <laughs> Gotta take a picture. Boop. Uh, photo mode. Okay, and we gotta... Wish that didn't get enabled. They're a little closer. Guess that's a decent picture. It's kind of boring. Boop. Boop. Hide that cursor. All right. What else? So, where are we going? There's Barthavon. Go talk to them right now. Okay, let's do that. Well, were we supposed to talk to Harkin first? Though... If we were, where is he? I guess hopefully it doesn't matter. 
we have wards, rapid transit, emporium. We got a store here, sell stuff. CSEC. All right. Well, we'll go find this guy. Go to cores then first. If I'm gonna go, go to cores then first. What's this? Citadel Tower. Okay. These are directions. And this is the Emporium. Let's go check out the Emporium real quick. That's the shopkeeper. Weird. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent Yikes. Emporium. Personal question. If you may suggest, go to cores then first. Who are you? What's cores? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Okay. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. View non-human armors. View upgrades. View standard items. Okay, and let's sell. So... Are these the things I have to sell, right? Or are these the things to buy? Okay, these must be my things. And... We already equipped what we want to keep, pretty sure. So we can just sell all these, right? Hopefully. Um, do I have to do this every time? Why can't I sell? Nope, I lost it. Core is dead, a nightclub. It is okay. good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Yes. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do yeah, so. Yeah, the human. menus are a little awkward. You will not be disappointed. I'm sure they get better as the series goes along. All right, want to sell? Shotgun, sell. Why is it not selling? Oh, do I? Do, oh, I see. I just accept. There we go. Accept, accept. Okay, we're rolling now. Okay, there we go. Cool. Now let's buy. We only have fourteen ninety nine. Oh, and these are all way too expensive for me. We need to make more money. But we managed to sell our stuff anyway. And while I'm in here, let's go to equipment. And did we already upgrade? It looks like we did, actually. Oh, combat sensor. Some enemies use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. The combat scanner upgrades improves detection levels, making these enemies visible. Sure, let's equip it. And that was on our assault rifle. And this one was the uh, hammerhead rounds. Okay. And then on the shotgun... We only have phasic rounds left. Okay. And then, um, was there anything on our armor we could equip? No. Oh, you know what? Uh, just one last thing. I know I'm taking forever here, but let's see what upgrades cost. Maybe we can afford upgrades. 
Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see Show me your items. Okay. Oh, this view one upgrades. is pleased to do so. Okay, weapon upgrade. We can improve. We can afford that. Improve sighting two. Plus seven percent max accuracy. Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, this is for the armor. Motorized joints too. Increases the brute strength of the wearer, allowing them to deliver more powerful blows when rifle butting or pistol whipping opponents. Okay. <laughs> we'll have no money left. I haven't been doing much of that, but uh, sure. Oh, toxic seals. Okay, we can't buy that, can we? No, it's too too much. Okay. Oh, we should have got that, but we couldn't afford it before, I think. All right. Uh, what's some buyback? Okay, no. All right. I think we're done. Spent all our money. I'm sure there's more coming, though. Let's put that on our equipment now. So we just got that. The motorized joints. Equip it. Cool. And then on our sniper, which is not in the list here. For some reason. Oh, there's Sniper. We're going to put that... Uh... Oh, the sights don't go here, huh? Where do the sights go? Is it on the pistol? No. Oh, here it is. I'm the wrong thing. Okay, so over here on the Snipey. Here. There. Okay, yeah, let's equip that. All right, so we're slightly upgraded. And you suggest going to Chorus Den, the nightclub. Okay. Consort Chambers, Embassy Lounge, Citadel Tower, Wards Access. Consort Chambers. Where is Harkin? There's no way to mark it to help find it. Okay. Maybe the Consort Chambers? Take the transport. Okay. Put your gun away. <coughs> Choose a destination. Ward's location. Okay, there is Kor's Den. Let's go. So it's in the wards. Which I assume means the neighborhoods. Gentlemen's club in the wards. Not allowed to go to a gentleman's club? That's her. Oop. Go. Cool. Whoa. What's going on here? Assassin. Okay. Uh. Oops. Got him. Saren's man tried to off me. That was no good. Let's go check this out. So I thought we pulled pulled out my weapon accidentally, but apparently it was meant to happen. Right, we're in here, a little den of iniquity. Sit down. Oh my. Relax. <laughs> you know, the Saurian. Sit forward. 
All right. Thank you for that. And yeah, that was free. All these guys are watching. Patron, talk. I got business here, but not with you. Good enough. General Septimus. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. Rex. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. These guys this are cool looking. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Interesting. Bouncer. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. So this guy's Krogan. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Nope. I don't see why he would be. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Okay. Hi, Pharaoh. Doggies want something. Hey, buddy. Alright, what else can we do here? Besides, keep ourselves from being assassinated. And when having another lap dance. Oh my, they're getting busy. We didn't try to talk to this guy, but I feel he he won't want any of us. Oh, we were going to talk to this guy when we saw the other thing. There's Harkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I got to say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass <laughs> down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. You're disgusting. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? <laughs> you gotta do better than that. After 20 years with C-Sec, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Maybe you can help me. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian C-Sec officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Oh! Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. We thought no human had been a specter so yet. Keep them out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well <laughs> oh, spread That's them a terrible around. analogy. All right, I'm not gonna say he's lying. I'm gonna say that's not why I'm here. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Must have heard he was going back there. Okay. Let's ask more about Garrus. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. 
<laughs> All right, Citadel Security. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean what was it like? The executor suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. Serves you right. <laughs> I think we'll skip that. And Captain Anderson. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. Wow, 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 wow. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny I would turn the music down in this a little bit, but uh, Everybody I can't get does. into that menu at the moment. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? to go ask him about that. We'll have to ask him for sure. Okay, see you later. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it in peace. We got some XP from that. Cool. All right, now we can get out of here. Anderson tell us he used to be a specter. Maybe it's not true. Hawkins an ass, but he's just messing with me. Caden didn't make it out the door. Probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. All right, and that's all there was here. All right, good recommendation. Thank you for that. The lower markets and stuff. Let's look at the map real quick. So we can go to Fist Office. We can go to the lower markets. Uh, let's not worry about the markets right now. So now we got to go speak to Garrus or to... Um, Vaughn, whoever he was. So they said Garrus was at, like, the doctor's office? Somewhere? So let's, uh... Go ahead and take this, I think. He is a whiner. Yes, he is. Okay, so Presidium locations. Uh... I'm not sure if that was right. <laughs> CDM Financial District. Okay, so there is... We're back here. That is... Uh, that was like F Von Bonn or whatever his name was. Um, but that's, this isn't where Garrus was. Let's try to talk to him first. Baron Von. Yeah. What were other choices? Ward locations. Oh, med clinic. There it is. Now it exists. All right. Oh, yeah. We got to scan this guy. Okay. A little XP, a little money. Is there like a direct inventory thing? Oh, what did we get? Okay. Take all. Um. Ooh, observe. Cool. Oh, what was I doing? I wanted to know if there was a quick way into uh, the equipment menu. Or no. Uh. Well, that's that's what I wanted. I just wanted to see where I've gotten. I still don't have that much uh, XP. I still got more Renegade than Paragon. Oh my god. I've got 12 points. Oh, it undid. It did undo all my talent points. Oh crap. Okay. Let's put those back. No wonder we haven't been seeing those. And we want to get the armor up. Recharges all talents so they can be used immediately. So this can be undone. 
It just didn't show it to me immediately. Okay, unlock tactical armor. There we go. Sweet. And the assault training in general increases melee damage, increases weapon damage, grants the adrenaline burst. And then over here, we got three more points. Damage reduction. And we probably should skill up in some weapon stuff. I like these two. Let's give that one, that one, that one. Now that we know we can undo them all. Yeah, I know he was in the bank next to me. I wasn't sure if I should talk to him yet or not. It probably doesn't matter in what order I do this. Um, okay. And these guys, do they have some stuff? Oh yeah, they do. So this is my tech guy. Alright, we'll give him one here. And decryption. It's his job, first aid. Sentinel. Just kind of spread them out, I guess. And then this gets into stasis effect, lift effect. So that's going to get unlocked all the way down here. Restores 100 health for all wounded party members. Let's go ahead and get there, I guess. We've used decryption a couple times. We've unlocked electronics. But I've gotten extra extra XP. Well we're gonna we're gonna definitely go back there. And we got eight with her. So shield boost. Soul training. Get up to that. And what's this? Okay. What's that? Unlock fitness. Looks pretty good. Damage reduction. We'll spread it out for now, I guess. Okay. So we did that. I'm glad I looked in there because uh, I did not realize that my stuff wasn't equipped. So we want to get over here. It looks like that's in the med clinic. So right here. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Oh, thugs. Ah! Ooh, nice shot. Garrus did it. Oh, you like to kill some people? Oh, got the wrong weapon out. Let's get the... Uh... Oops, that was that. I guess I've got... Still got that out. I want... Something like that. Okay, that's the shotgun. Oh, here we go. Let's try this one. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Negative contacts, Commander. Uh, holster. All right, let's talk to him. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. 
Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Tell me what happened. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? Actually, let's ask this one, this side first. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where'd she go? Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay, you made your case. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay. Current squad. Nice. Now we've got Garrus on the squad. Okay, so, and there's two others, so that's definitely got to be Rex. And then this is a Solarian. And then she looks human. Nice. Except squad. All right. I don't know what all these little lines up here mean. Oh, it says right here, biotic strength, tech strength, and combat strength. Okay, so Caden has no combat strength, but he's got plenty of biotic tech. Ashley's all combat. And Garrus is, he must be a vanguard like me, because he's got biotic and combat. Nice. Okay. We gotta examine. Let's examine. How do I get out of here? Or do I have to... Accept? I don't know how to get out of this, or what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, we have to turn them on? Oh, I see. Put them in the squad. Who we're taking with us? I see. Alright, well, let's take, uh... Well, this turns them on and off. I got it. And you only can have two at a time. Alright, well, let's take Ashley and Garrus. And he's actually, I read this wrong. He is tech in combat. So he's like sentinel, I guess, what that was called. All right, accept. I understand now. And then, yeah, Caden's already gone. Okay, so we have to make it to CSEC. And grab Rex. Choose your team. Yeah, it took me a minute to figure out what was going on there. Presidium locations. Uh, wards locations. 
Where's CSEC? I guess it's, it was Presidium, right? Uh, financial district? Well, at the very worst, we can talk to the, the Barlow Vaughn over here. Although it seemed like there was a timer. CSEC HQ right there. This is where we were supposed to go. Oh, he's gone, huh? He didn't stay there. Oh. I didn't know that he would move. Okay. Well, let's go over here. I thought it was just like all these other quest things where they just stay there until... Until you have time for them. Hmm. Lost our opportunity. So we gotta get over the bridge. Oh, here's one of these guys to scan. Keeper. I don't see a little exclamation point on CSEC, but, uh... That's where he said we had to go, right? And it seemed like it was, the timing was urgent. spot no it's over here and uh, let's look in the journal again real quick Rex oh this is checked off speak to Rex even though I never spoke to him okay yeah it doesn't show Rex anywhere. These might be grayed out because we're not in them. I don't know how this works. All right, let's see. How do we get in there? Maybe over here? Let's see where this goes. Okay, so we're all facing that way. We need to go that way. Oh, someone to talk to here. Diplomat. Talk. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. All right, not much there. Scan that dude. Probably something to get here. Hmm, okay. That's where we came in. Uh, Executive Palin. Where are we now? We're in the Embassy Lounge. We want CSEC HQ. I assume. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Mm, who are you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the oh, council, I spend most I of my got time from the med clinic. Okay. The two. But this is the where I'm supposed to be, right? What do you know about the Spectres? 
They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhand inside of the council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide... It's reasonable for a CSEC commander to, uh... I wouldn't call that naive. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, so this apparently is not where I was meant to go. Alright, so we got some decryption to do here. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own world. Join us in the Hawking ETA cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. So I assume... That goes into my journal. Yes. Go back to where the AI is. Okay, walk left of her and follow the arrows. The AI was over here. left of her Ah, CSEC Academy. There we go. Thank you. See that again? <laughs> Where do I go? Ah, here. Do you feel that your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, Gunnery Chief? Uh, Got trying it. to take down a rogue Spectre and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in basic. Okay. All right, there's our dude. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. This guy's tough. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. You got a nice deep voice. I heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. 
Well, welcome aboard. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. That was easy. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Alright, so now we gotta choose squad again. And I guess for the purposes of this, we'll do uh, Garrus, Garrus and Erdnot Rex. Nice. So now we only have two more to put on our squad to completely fill it out. And then we should probably go in here and see if they got points. Oh, yeah, we can give him points now. He's ours. Sweet. All right, so Turian Agent. I guess we'll give him one of those. Uh, let's take him up on assault rifles. And armor. Get him up to shield boost, I guess. Boom, boom. Hey, Pookie Pants. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, having a little fun with this little story game. Have you ever played any Mass Effect? I have not. This is my first time doing it. We're in Mass Effect 1 right now. Um, but yeah, I bought the... Uh, Remastered Legendary Edition and just checking it out for some fun and some story And learning the ropes of it And uh, let's keep going up here. All right, cool gave him his points and then Erdnot he's got ten points too. look at him go so He's a battle master you haven't well, I appreciate your support. Let's give him battle master points. I wonder if we should just take him all the way up and battle master. Why not? It seems like we can redo it if we don't like it. And he's got biotics as well. Just like space magic powers. Give him that. And then that gets him to shield boost. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Hopefully those were good choices. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, we didn't look at me if I have anything more. I don't. Okay. All right. So now we got to go kill Fist, apparently. And for that, I assume we got to go back to the wards. Back to the place. Actually, this is not how I got in here. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, sure. But I'm gonna check it out anyway, because I'm curious. Well Doesn't look like your style. It's like one of the earlier RPGs. It's supposed to be a very good one. The combat and stuff is a bit jank. But uh it's a cool story driven thing. Getting little codex and XP from all of those. Uh, yeah, and yeah, very RPG driven. Lots of choices, meaningful choices in the dialogue that affect what happens next. Who's this? Uh, but this is the first in the series, so. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? It's apparently, they get Did better, better in the next one. I overheard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Well, overall, it just seems like a cool sci-fi adventure. Home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? <laughs> That's all I want. Not I nearly want as crazy as Cyberpunk. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Sure. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. 
Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who wanted us to scam the Keepers. Ah, thank you for the putting keepers? that together. Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Okay, that's a little side thing. Complicates the thing with Shorban, but I was doing that scanning. All right, let's look in here. All right, let's get out of here. It's just looking for one of these. Alright, so we're going back to the ward, I think, to get Fist. I assume he's still at Korra's Den. Oh, well, there's Torben. And then there's Fist's office, but Fist doesn't seem to be there. Let's go ahead and do that. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? The truth. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorban. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after him. You... spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. He's got Looks boys. Like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. All right. Any one of these will do. I'll go for I see. I pretend I understand. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? No more. All right. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering from I mean, I already started that scanning. Them. I might as well keep it. doing it. Okay. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. I'm <laughs> just going scanning, back Commander. and forth between the two. But yeah, we wanted Fist, and he doesn't seem to be here. Who's this guy? Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want oh. very good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. All right. So I don't have much money. I don't think I have anything to sell. Oh, I have a grenade upgrade now. Okay. Alright, so we might as well back out of here until we make some money. But, uh, 
I should. My equipment and my grenades. Cryo upgraded grenades contain a small Bose uh, Einstein condensate, a master, a mass of super cooled sub subatomic. I can't even read this. Subatomic particles. When detonated, they are capable of snap freezing nearby targets. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's equip it. This is the owner of the club. Yes. There's his office, but he's not marked here. Uh, but let's go over there anyway, I guess. Where are we going? Okay, that way we can make that go away. Oh, put that away. Right, where are we? No, going the wrong way. Who's this? There are a few unlicensed vendors who operate out of the markets here. Sometimes they have good stuff for sale. Okay, then. Is this where we're going? Alleyway, upper markets, med clinic. Oh no, okay. I go back. To Cora's Den. There we go, now I remember. It's a little confusing navigating around here. Looks like it's shut down. It looks like I'll eventually get it. Oh, hi. should be his office over here somewhere, right? No. Warehouse worker. Uh, Alright, let's talk to him. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers? All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! Oh, okay. So here's some choices. Save yourselves. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I know there we go. Just anyway. So now we get some, uh... It would have been quicker to just kill them. Paragon Shooting points? Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah, Paragon points. Kill 
kill me, I surrender. Smart move. <laughs> Start talking. Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards. The back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> what are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Okay. He'd surrendered. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That Quarian's Big dead baby. If we don't go now. <laughs> All right, get the Quarian and warn her before it's too late. All right. Oh, take that. Optical disc. Wall safe. I'm hurrying, right? <laughs> Not quite. Take all. All right, let's go. All right, so which way are we going? We gotta go to the back alleys. We're here, so it looks like we gotta go back up through there again, right? All right, where we came from? Weapons locker. I can't pass this stuff up. This is loot. Nope. Take all. Let's go. Oh, there's more dudes. Let's go, gentlemen. Oh, we have... Okay, I see the timer now. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Let's press the little F5 right here. I guess we messed this up. The lower markets. Come in. How do I get in? Store leads to the lower markets. Continue through to the upper markets. How do I get in? Be up here. Let's see if we're going the right way. We are. Okay, we're going here. I think we can put this away now. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? That must no be way. the quarian. The deal's off. Ooh. She's sneaky. Okay, I need a better weapon. Go. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. 
Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den, do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Just doing my job. <laughs> you wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We She's don't got a see nice many Koreans here. Why did you leave the flotilla? Fancy. I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Oh, look, she's techie. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Thank you, Sir Garwin. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. Same as the, the Protheans. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's true, I guess. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. Well, that would be bad. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. I wonder if she's gonna be one you of my squad. You saw me in the Alley, Commander. 
You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Yes. Join us. I thought she looked like that one of those missing spaces. Join us. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Awesome. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. All right. And then we got just got one more to get on here. So we got to get the new person on here. So she is all tech. And then we got this guy who is biotic in combat. Tech in combat. All right, let's keep these two for now. They're like the most characters of the characters. <laughs> Pretty cool. So we got one more we got to get who looks like a uh, Solarian, I'm guessing. Maybe. Or no, or a Sari. A Sari, I think, actually. It looks like this ridge is on the head. I hope I didn't miss out by not going to the... Um, uh, Von Barlow, Barlow Von, or whatever. I didn't realize that that was a timed thing. Okay. So, let's take a moment. Uh, actually on the squad let's make sure that she's got her points so I guess all everybody keeps up with each other no matter when they come on they have as much points as we do so she's all about tech so we should probably put that up there's only six of these so let's give her all of that. Decryption, hacking, electronics. Uh, let's give her... She's got to be able to protect herself. So give her some of that. And then keep these coming up. I guess. <laughs> let's see how that does. And do we have any more points? Oh, look at that. I got four more points. They keep coming. All right, let's take Vanguard up a bit. And... Let's do this. All right, keeps our shields up. Sweet, and then he must have some too. No, he doesn't. Okay. Alrighty, and actually, let's uh, check our journal. So now we have to return to the tower for that. And then... That's all done. That, of course, is done. And then... Is that all of them? Yeah, so these are grayed out, so they're completely done. So all we have is this. There is no talking to what's his face anymore. Just trying to remember where that was. Go see Barla Vaughn. Yeah, I hope we didn't miss out. Okay. All right, got to get to the tower. Let's find one of those trans things. There may be a way to get there from here, but I don't know. Oh, there is. I think, well, the tower is there. We might as well fast travel there. Uh-oh, who's this? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. 
I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. So we picked up another little side quest quest. Uh, I guess we might as well knock that out since we're here. Hopefully the tower thing doesn't have a timer. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. This isn't right. Investigate. Length of research. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. I mean, it doesn't sound like that bad to me. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. So we can get bad guy points by releasing it. We get good guy points by saying this isn't right. Or we can pass this on. I don't know. I mean, it sounds like a reasonable argument. We should... I think this is the, the right answer. Samesh should hear this. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I wonder if he will. Oh, we have people to talk to here. Oh god, we may pick up more don't side have time quests. To talk now. I'm very busy. Why do you have a circle on you? Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course. This place seems strange. Wish there were more humans around. Alright, those are all just side chatter. Where did he go? He was He was over here. Was he? No, he was. I've lost track of where he was. Let's see. He's right here. Alright, we need to go out and to the right. Then... Who's this? Shepard, what can I do for you now? Okay, never mind. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Didn't mean to talk to you. Out to the right. Right and left. Oh, here we go. All right, let's see how this goes. He's not going to like it. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Nirali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Okay, this is important. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She did it willingly. I and mean, she can still help. What would she want? These are all good answers.
If the military had asked your wife to submit the test to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I yeah, miss her so much. It's a bit irrational. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. There we Goodbye. go. Thank you for finding me on It's just a body anyway. She's dead. All right. We got some Paragon points from that. How are we doing now? Hey, we're getting up there. Okay. I'm not sure what the balance between these is going to do, but uh, whatever. Okay, so now we can go to the tower. C-Sec. Citadel of the tower. Uh, let's just get there this way. So I can sprint, but it doesn't last long. That must be a vendor. believes it has the right to move freely. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Uh, let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? This isn't the way. What's the problem? Oh, God. What are you doing? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Purchase a permit. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. What's the problem when you don't Exacting take fast travel? as a means of imposing come across limits all these side the quests. <laughs> is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. Oh, cool. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Neat. A legality of preaching. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? He doesn't care about that. The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Could I buy your permit? Oh, God. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. <laughs> All right, let's give it to him. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. 
This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. And now I have even less money. <laughs> but I got some XP. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the tower, which should be like this way, right? Yeah. Oh, and I still gotta talk to this guy, apparently. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. My pleasure. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Oh, what do we get? Excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Uh, some he just handed me XP. I was hoping he'd give me that 150 uh, coin I just spent. Please do not disturb the keepers. Okay. And then how do we proceed? Reminds you of the Institute in Fallout 4. This is like a giant space station. But this is kind of weird like that. Alright, I need to get the Citadel Tower. Oh, I'm here. Okay, I passed it. Oh, she's stuck behind the keeper. Please do not disturb the keepers. <laughs> come on. You can come over here. Let's go. You know, Saren would already be in custody if you'd gone straight to the council with your information. A lone quarian with no credentials? The council would laugh me out of the chambers. That is I like the crew I'm accumulating. They're very cool looking. Got so little stamina. It's criminal. All right, let's go see if we can get Saren in indicted. I don't think it's going to be this easy, though. I like how little HUD we actually have here. All right, here's Captain Anderson. He likes to Come hang on. right there. Udina's yeah, I can only have two at a time. To the council. Eden Brown I have a total of six. Victory. I've accumulated five Eden of the six so far. One step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, yes. and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. I think this is the most important of these, is the Saren's bringing them back. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? It's trouble. Not yet. Let's just say it's trouble. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. 
The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Seren's true purpose. This guy should a be a little bit more open-minded for being the will. Council. Hmm. I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will That's happen That's not again. I've seen them. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! <laughs> this guy... A fleet so angry all the time. Man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me! I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. That's right. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Well? Oh. Voting on the touchpad. Step forward. All right, promotion. Oh, look, everybody's watching. I'm going to become the second human specter. It is the decision of the council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors uh, everybody's of Everybody's got some, peace, something important to say. First and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first no pressure. human specter, Commander. <laughs> this is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. About time. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse. I had to fight for it, though. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. All right. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. Awesome! You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to More set all gear. this up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. The game just crashed. Oh, no. I hope it's saved oh. there. Bastard didn't even thank you. Oh, wait. No, it's still up. Where'd it go? It's just minimized. Okay, <laughs> we're still in. <laughs> Better save quick. I don't blame him. It's no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. Nice. Okay. Are these guys gone? I wanted to grab a picture. I'm going to grab a picture with these guys. Hold on, guys. Turn around. Turn around. Here. Okay. Come back this way. Come on. There we go. Photo mode. And... Let's see. So we gotta turn that back off. And then pull this back out. Oh, 
No, nope, that's as much as we get. Okay, there we go. All right, hide the UI and take a picture. I'm just trying to get a thumbnail for my next episode because there is going to be another episode for sure. Because I am having fun. All right, so there's a bunch of stuff to do again. Um, that's probably going to be a good stopping point, but uh, let's see in the journal where we're at now. So the only one still alive is exposed Sarin. We got to speak to the ambassador. We can go get more new stuff. Um, but I think because we just we just uh, achieved this point now, I think just because this is such a good stopping point, I am going to stop here. And then next episode, we'll go, we'll see the CSEC requisition guy, we'll get specked out, we'll go talk to the ambassador, and then I think we're going to be on our way to whatever the next place is, because we're going to have to go find Saren uh, and take him out, uh, if it's going to be that easy, which I suspect it's not going to be. I suspect, since he is the main antagonist, it's going to take us to the rest of this game to uh to get him i don't know how long the mass effect goes on oh this is not back on i'm sorry guys i blew it whoops <laughs> i turned it off when the game blanked up but forgot to turn it back on all i did was take a picture so far of uh we were up here whoops put that away i'm glad everybody doesn't get alerted when i do that yeah all i did was uh Take this picture right here so far um but yeah sorry about that so again i think this is a good place to check out and hopefully you guys like this i'm not sure what you thought about it but it's a fun story i'm enjoying it i don't know how long it's going to take but it seems like it's proceeding along at a pretty good clip I'll, I'll look up how long Mass Effect 1 takes, and I want to definitely get through this to get to Mass Effect 2 and see what it's like, but um, I'm definitely enjoying, you know, having never played this to really kind of expose myself to what the story is here and what this game was all about. Um, you know, they put a lot of work into this. It, it, it uh, is revered by a lot of people. I can definitely see its faults. There's a real simplicity to it, but I'm playing right now a game that's from, like, 2007 i think something like that so yeah i'm 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 curious to see how the next one's going to hold up but for as old and as kind of simplistic as this is I, i'm still having fun with it i think it's a good storyline for sure and that's just what pookie pants said it's an interesting storyline excellent all right y'all well thank you for the watching to the end of this live stream and if you're watching it on the uh, vod later thank you for getting to the end of this I appreciate everyone who has uh, shown up and hung out with me, joined me in this, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.